South Carroll hosted Williamsport on Friday, November 19th in a Class 2A, 1A state quarterfinal at Parker Field, where the Cavaliers look to stay alive and advance to the Final Four for the first time in seven years. The Wildcats had a 7-4 record and entered play having beaten Francis Scott Key 50-20 in their most recent playoff game. But South Carroll makes the first move with this third and 10 pass from Ryan Bernard to Logan Miller, who goes for 60 yards to move the chains and gets pushed out of bounds at the six yard line. The Cavs line up for a 23 yard field goal, but Bernard pushes it wide left and we're still scoreless. Williamsport quarterback Brady Neff tries to get the Wildcats going on this long run out past the 40 yard line. Another big pass here from Barnard, who gets behind Williamsport's defense inside the 15-yard line. South Carroll starts the second quarter with the first points on this seven-yard touchdown from A.J. Rodriguez. The point after from Bernard makes it 7-0 Cavaliers. Neff gets loose again here and breaks free for a 47-yard touchdown. Williamsport draws even after the PAT, 7-7 in the second quarter. The Cavaliers need one play to get the lead back. Barnard finds Miller, who tips the ball to himself and races 79 yards into the end zone and past the borders of the second level press box window. Trust us, Miller scores and the Cavs go up 14 to seven. Williamsport moves the ball into South Carroll's red zone before Noah Strelzik comes up with a big interception to end that drive. Strelzik comes up big again in the third quarter and hauls in his second pick of the game. That leads to more points for the Cavs. Barnard finds Miller for a 10-yard score, and South Carroll adds to its lead, now 21-7. The home team puts this one away on a third and six from the seven yard line. Barnard eludes the pressure and throws to Jackson Strelzik who gets the bounce to go his way for a touchdown. Final score from Parker Field, South Carroll 27, Williamsport 7. The Cavaliers are 11-0 and get to stay home next weekend for the 2A, 1A state semifinals. Want more local sports coverage? Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.